Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Unreal Cousins. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to package your game for Android and run it on your phone. And then in my next video, I'm going to show you how you can upload them to the Google Play Store. So, first, you have to install a few things like Java if you haven't already. You can, uh, yeah, I'll have this link in the description of the video with all the links. So, yeah, you're going to have to download and install this. And then hit install alright now we're done with that next we're gonna install .NET SDK 3.1 because I don't know it's just like an Unreal Engine 5 bug where you have to install it so just do this it doesn't let you package your projects unless you install this for some reason and it has to be version 3.1 for some reason as well alright and yeah you could verify your installation if you wanted to and then we have to download Android Studio 4.0 just go to this link you have to like accept all these terms and then May 28th 2020 so just scroll down to there Android Studio 4.0 we'll just do Windows 64 bit installer this one takes a while to download I guess and it has to be this version for whatever reason because I don't know Unreal Engine just has certain versions they like you to use at least that's what it said for Unreal Engine version 4.25, I believe, or 4.27. They haven't updated any documentation really for for Unreal Engine 5. And honestly, I'm pretty surprised by how buggy Unreal Engine 5 is, and how like random things are just like randomly moved. It's kind of annoying. Uh, as you can see here, now it's starting, and uh, yeah, here we go. So here's the Welcome to Android Studio thing. You can just press all this. You have to make sure this is just leave this exactly as it is because otherwise Unreal Engine will have errors as it usually does. Alright, now it's completed. Let's press next. Finish. And then we have to wait for it to load. The first time you install it, it has like more things that you have to go through but it didn't have me to that because I already installed this. So yeah, as you can see on the Unreal Engine documentation, it looks slightly different the first time you install it. All you have to do is just plus do not import. You do whatever you want here, whatever you want here. I don't really know why you this matters, but I guess you hit custom, but you don't really pick anything. And then you select dark mode because it's better, I guess. And then just verify this. You have to make sure your SDK location is up. And we're going to have to go to configure. SDK manager, SDK tools, you have to make sure to select uh, this one right here and make sure you select like a bunch of these just yeah and then you just hit apply okay after that you're supposed to restart your computer as well All right, you go to your Unreal Engine install so for me it's here program files uh, epic games Unreal Engine 5 and, and then you go to engine extras Android and you do set up Android dot dot bat and then yeah it just does this I guess it would probably take longer for you because I've already done it before but yeah you just go through that and also guys if you get if you get an error saying something about repositories dot cf G cannot be loaded which is an error I got the first time I did this all you have to do is go to the where it says the error is and create an empty repositories.cfg file just uh, you know like if it says error cannot find like whatever like C program files whatever uh, you just go there and then you make an empty file name this and then you open up Unreal Engine you open up your project, so I got my project over here on really my project too. I'll show you some settings that you have to do. Once you open your project, you want to go to Edit, Project Settings, and see Android here. And um, first of all, you want to select this box and this box. It makes it so that it doesn't bug out when you open your app. It'll say like Verify here. You just have to press that button. I don't really think that does anything because it still works if you don't do that though. And then. Uh, scroll down a bit. Or actually, no, it's not even here. You go Android SDK. It's a separate thing. And you wanna 
put in these. It, I think it does it automatically anyways it's supposed to, but I think this one it might not. So all you want to do is just open up your files and then just go to this location, which is this. So you can also get by going here, here, SDK manager, and copying this. If, if, if all these fields are empty, you just paste that here. And then you take this and you bring it into the files and then you just paste it. And then you go NDK in this one and then you just copy that and put that here. And then for the J JDK, it should just be this for everyone except yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the same for everyone, but you can just go to this and, and see uh, see if that's right. And then these, yeah, you just put latest. I think these are there by default, but if they're not, yeah, just put those in. And then, and then yeah, now, now once you do that, uh, I think you're supposed to restart your computer again, but since I already did everything, it'll be fine for me. So when you package, you're probably going to want to select this because it just works the best go here android and you should see that the, the the installed sdk and it should be like the android logo there and then you should be able to go to package project and it should actually package it all right guys we got it to uh successfully package and everything you you can just take this apk file and send it to your phone if you just plug your phone into your computer you can just drag it over as well but then once you run it on your phone you'll see like an install screen and it should be able to install it'll have a bunch of warnings about how it's like not verified and you shouldn't install it but you can just go past those because you know it's not bad and then yeah uh, it'll install and you should be able to play your game so that's all thanks for watching and in the next video I'll show you how you can upload to the Google Play Store. Oh yeah, and one thing I forgot to mention is that you're going to have to turn on developer mode on your phone, and um, to do that, you you basically open the settings app on whatever Android phone you have, you scroll all the way down to about phone, you click on um, software information, and then you scroll down to uh, build number, and then you just press on that, like, a bunch of times until it says developer mode is turned on it might have you enter your passcode and then yeah that's all you have to do and then when you actually install the thing on your phone it might give you a thing like you're not allowed to do that through this app at least on a Samsung phone like I have and um, to, to, to do that you just press like um, I think you just press like open settings and then you just enable the uh, you just enable it through whatever app you were trying to install it from. So, like, if you were if you download it through like the files app on your phone, if you just transferred it over like I did, you would just uh, select you would turn on files app, and then it lets you install through there, and then that's it.